The stars of the left are annoyed with that pesky First Amendment again. The dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue. It's really hard to govern today. You can't, you know, you know, there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact have kind of, you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. He's talking about the mainstream media there, by the way, the good old days when it was the nightly news and they had a monopoly on what people thought, which allowed them to get away with a lot. And it's how they managed to dispose of the most popular president in history. Aw, shucks, can't do that anymore, huh, John? People go and their people self-select where they go for their news or for their information. And then you just get into a vicious cycle. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45, 50 years I've been involved in this. And, and I, you know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have, you know, some accountability on facts, et cetera. But look, if people go to only one source and the source they go to is sick and, uh, you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation, uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, hammer it out of existence. So what you need, what we need is to, is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having, uh, you know, winning enough votes that you're free to be able to, to uh, implement change. Think about what that means. The information we don't like that hurts us as Democrats is misinformation. And if we win the election, we can do something about it so that we can hurt those damn sheep into thinking what we want them to. What about the number two guy on the ballot this November? There's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. Yes, the democracy they care so much about. Good thing Bill Gates is on the case. We should have free speech, but if you're inciting violence, if you're causing people not to take vaccines, you know, where are those boundaries that even the U.S. Uh, should, you know, have rules? And then if you have rules, you know, what is it? Is there some AI that encodes those rules? Because you have billions of activity and, you know, if you catch it a day later, the harm is, is done. So Bill Gates wants rules, and those rules may be enforced by AI before they can do damage. These people are unreal.